Eagles with a new coaching staff, and we are here to meet one of them today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our studio. Dave Spadaro, Eagles Insider, with you. Linebackers coach Fl uh, Ken Flagel is with us. Thank See, you. I stumbled over it, but I got it. You got it right. It's kind of the way we do things around here. <laughs> Show must go on. Ken, welcome to Philadelphia. Thanks so much. You've been around a lot of NFL teams, a lot of NFL cities. Some early thoughts on Philadelphia and how the Eagles do things. Well, it's a first-class organization, and uh, you know, I believe it or not, a real good friend of mine in the profession is Andy Reid. Uh, Andy and I coached at about uh, three different spots, so Andy's, has always said, glowing things about ownership here and about the organization. So I'm just privileged to be here. Thank and you. And how about the city? Have you gotten into the city? Have you gotten your teeth into the city yet? Well, I don't know my way. We've been pretty busy. I know yeah. my way from the hotel right now to work and back again. But as things slow down a little bit, I'll get a little bit. Uh, more of a flavor for the city, but uh, anxious to uh, see it, be a part of it, and, and uh, appreciate everybody welcoming me. Ken, uh, remarkable. I mean, you've been able to make a lifetime, a career out of coaching in college and in the NFL. What's the key to success? You just stay after it, Dave. That's it. You know, it's like being a player, I guess. You just, you get knocked down a couple of times, you get in a job, you get fired, you go get another one, and you just stay after it. And I think the thing that keeps the coaches going, though, is just the players. You know, you enjoy the relationships with the guys. You certainly enjoy the game. That's the reason uh, you got into it in the first place. But uh, it's really, you know, it's all about the players, and, and I enjoy being around the guys. I think for an old guy like myself, it keeps you young. Has it changed what you're teaching the kids, whether it's college in 1982 or in St. Louis in 2010? A little bit, but game's still the game. Uh, it's still blocking and tackling. and you know, certainly in the NFL, it's more about matchups and things like that. So there's a little bit more diversity, a little bit more intricacies about the game in the NFL level than it was in college. But I think college is working that way, too. You know, they've, uh, the game has progressed, and it's just on that course. So we know that the Eagles are going to a 4-3 front. I'm not sure fans understand, and I certainly don't. What that means for the linebackers, what you ask them to do differently play-to-play -play, than what they may have done in the previous three seasons. Well, in a 3-4 defense, you know you have two outside linebackers. And those guys, uh, not only do they have to know coverage, but they've got to be efficient pass rushers. That's, not, that's going to be more in a 4-3. That's going to be on your ends and that type of thing. So there's going to be a little bit of a, of a transition, a little bit of a difference there. But um, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, the type of guys that you staff or you roster for a 4-3 uh, inside might be just a little bit different than what you've done in a 3-4. But... You know, we've had a chance to look at the guys that are coming back uh, on the Eagles team and excited to work with them, and uh, hopefully we can get them going and win some games. Jim Schwartz wants to be an attack defense. Does that mean the linebackers go more downhill to the line of scrimmage than maybe in the past? Well, I don't, I don't know what was taught here in the, in the past. I know the people that were here before were good football coaches. I've always believed in the run game you work downhill. Your fits are always up and in. Uh, and so we're going to get them working that way. That's going to be the mentality. And I think when Jim says these, they're an attack defense, you know, that we're going to be an attack defense, I think he's referring not only to the linebackers but to the defensive front too, how they, they don't play lateral on blocks. We're upfield and we're trying to get penetration. And, again, everything's based on the fact that you've got to get after the quarterback in the NFL. Yeah, I imagine you've spent most of your time kind of looking and getting familiar with the personnel. So I'm going to ask you about a couple of players and let me know what you think. Jordan Hicks first, who last year had such a strong first half of his rookie season. What do, what do you see in him? I thought he was really a good player. I, you know, I've just – since we had to grade everybody and we're on the fast track right now, we're playing catch up with everybody else. I haven't watched the whole season. I've watched about three games, but I think he's a very good player. He moves very well. He strikes well and uh, anxious to get an opportunity to work with him. I like all the guys that are coming back, and uh, hopefully we can, they can transition easy into the 4-3 into the defense and what we're doing. I will ask you about only a couple more because I don't want to yeah. go down the line. I know you're not that familiar yeah. at this point yet. Uh, Michael Kendricks. And then Kiko Alonso, if you could cut, touch on those two guys. Okay, well, Michael Kendricks is in the same thing, uh, same vein to me. Uh, he, he very good football player, plays downhill, has some blitz ability to him. Kiko Alonso, you know, I really liked him coming out of college. I was uh, at Cleveland at the time, and I think when he came out and thought he was really a very competitive player, played the game the right way, had a lot of energy to him, brought brought a swagger, so to speak, to your defense. So all those guys will, will really help us, I think, in, in the following year. Ken, I'm jumping from A to Z here, but what's your message going to be kind of on a daily basis 
in that linebacker room, what do you want from your guys every day? Well, my biggest thing, Dave, is going to be let's just get better. I, I really believe that. I mean, uh, this is a process. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And for guys to get better, I, I really want to see them be a lot better if we turn the tape on at the end of the year that guys can look back and say, you know what, we got a lot better, Coach. And to me, that's our measure of success is, is not where we start but where we finish. And I really hope that the guys feel like they're making good progress. I'm, I'm a teacher by heart. I got my degree in education. So uh, believe it or not, when I first got out of college, I was a classroom teacher. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And what, how old were the kids? They were junior high, so okay. it was challenging. Oh, my gosh. But uh, I, I taught football, or I was coach football, at, uh, at where I went to school at Pacific Lutheran University, and I was a seventh grade math teacher. And I really believe that, uh, you know, we're going it's to, it's all about teaching. We're just teaching the game of football. So I'll, hopefully I'm going to teach them a little bit about the game, uh, why the offenses do what they do, and maybe that makes them a little bit better problem solvers out on the game day, on out on the field on game day. So. From then till now, you know, the game has changed so much, Ken. Back then, you know, it was, it was defense was highlighted and it was physical and it was nasty and it was violent. And you'd be hitting training camp, and it was now it's really tapered off. So it, it, the penalties are very stiff for the defense. The rules of engagement are different. Right. For, good or bad for the NFL? <laughs> well, uh, for the quality of play in the NFL, it's a little bit different. I think it all comes back to player safety. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, a lot of the rules that have been uh, put in place have a lot to do with player safety. And I think that's a good thing, you know, because certainly. These guys are all going to have lives after their career. Sometimes it makes it a little bit more challenging on defense. You know, I used to, for a lot of my years, I was a secondary coach in the NFL and in college. And, you know, I always get a little bit chafed on the pass interference rule. You throw a 50-yard pass down there and you have contact, and all of a sudden now it's a 50-yard penalty instead of 15 like college. But I think for the most part, uh, the rules were are for player safety, and I'm all for that. You've coached every position on defense. Is there one position more difficult or different message or different way of teaching than, than another position? Well, everyone has its challenges. Uh, you know, I, I know when you're a secondary coach, and I, I feel for Corey Unlin because I, I think there's a lot more adjustments in a game, uh, in the passing game, because there's so many personnel groups, so many motions, that type of thing. Um, but every group has its challenges, and, and so you got a lot of different dragons to slay, and he'll have his dragons to slay, I'll have my dragons to slay, and hopefully we slay them all. So, Ken, I read a great story on you in SA.com. Greg Bedard wrote a story, your time off in 2013 after coaching for 30-plus years. And, right. I, and I wondered what that was like for you and if it really got you charged up again to coach. It really did. I, I, uh, it was tough being out. Yeah. I enjoy the game. As you know, you get emotionally attached to the game, and it just becomes part of you. Uh, sitting out, I, I thought, you know what, if this is what retirement is, I'm not going to do very good in retirement because my golf game's not getting any better. Mm -hmm. And my wife's saying, you know, i got to cook for you every night. I don't <laughs> like that. You know, we kind of miss you going to training table in college or the cafeteria in the pros. So I really did miss it, and uh, I'm just very thankful to be back. What were Sundays like? <laughs> Tough. <laughs> yeah. Did you go to a sports bar and watch every game, no, or did you have it piped no. into your house? Or? Be believe it or not, no. I'd watch a I'd watch a game if I had a friend on their staff or that type of thing. But uh, you know, when I got away from it a little bit, it was hard to be away from it. You do. You get emotionally attached to this game, and and you want to be a part of it. And you know, I'll tell the players now since I've had a chance to be out. Don't take every day uh, and, and enjoy it, and don't take anything for granted because you never know when this game's going to get taken away from you, whether you're a coach or whether you're a player. Huh? You really got to feel blessed if you're a chance to, to be a part of it. What are you learning sitting in all these meetings with Jim Schwartz and all of these great defensive minds here putting this thing together? And I, I guess it's done very piece by piece by piece and very long process kind of in a short period of time. It is, and, you know, I've been in so many different schemes now, uh, throughout my career. I, I'm excited to be here. Uh, Jim's a very bright guy and, and very committed about uh, how we want to play defense here. And I'm going to learn some things and, and hopefully there'll be some things that I can offer too. But uh, uh, again, just uh, it's a learning curve and uh, we're trying to put it together little by little and, and finally get to a final place where we feel like we're, we've, uh, we can play fast and we can play efficient. What's great about the scheme? I like the fact that we're attacking. I like the fact that it's very simple. I think when the fact that it is simple, it allows players to play fast 
and that's what it's all about. You try to not overload the chip, so to speak. If you're a computer, we're not going to try to put so much information in there that you can't process it fast enough, and hopefully guys will play fast, and, and with the kind of players that we have, that hopefully that translates into good defense and championship defense. Ken? Great talking to you. Thank you so Ken much. Ken Flagel, linebackers coach in studio with us on PhiladelphiaEagles.com.